Hello guys, today I'll be doing Shrank Raid and I'll be showing you guys the best way to do it. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the raid and I'll return when we're in. As you guys can see, we're in game now and quickly you'll notice that the Shanks Raid map is pretty big. The enemies will spawn here and here, so there's only two spawn locations. So the best way to do this is to get a friend and uh, have one of your friends stand over here and your other friend or you i mean not your other friend so you and your friend stand on each spawn location and just kill the enemy <laughs> now that's the best way to do this actually um, it's the fastest way and it's the best way but if you are alone what you could do if you have dragon you could fly right about not here Right about behind this tree, so you can queue over here and also over here. Now, as you can see, I don't have dragon. So, all you have to do is kill the enemies. Now, if you are too weak to do this raid, what you could also do is get bosses and other things stuck. So you don't actually have to fight them with from full HP. And I'll show you what I mean when the first boss spawns. So, I'll jump back when the boss spawns so the first boss spawns at 10 the 10 wave and then the wave 20 uh there's another boss which is way harder and then also wave 30 where the final where shanks spawns um for this one there's not really much to it it doesn't really attack as you can see unless it's really close to you where it attacks but it doesn't have any ranged attacks which makes it really easy to kill uh, like that but I'll show you when at wave 20 when the boss actually has a ranged attack and what you can do to not get hit okay we're back at wave 20 and I'll show you now the boss usually doesn't spawn okay well now we got a little unlucky but if the boss spawns like this this is fine just try to kill the enemies without getting close so what you do is you, you, what you need for this is actually observation hockey. You don't need future sight, but you do want observation hockey. As you can see, that there, there's the range attack. Now, it does twenty thousand damage exactly. I can even show you. It does twenty thousand no matter what you do, or sixteen actually. So, I think maybe this one won't kill the boss. Yeah. Okay. So the boss is still alive, as you can see. So let's say the boss spawned alone. Now it spawned alone in this island. What you want to do. I didn't mean to attack, is to trap him. Like this. And then, you don't want to stay close to him. You want to trap him like this, and then just don't get close, and the boss will stop attacking you. And now you can hit him with your abilities and whatnot, to kill him. It, this only works if you have a decent AoE. But yeah, you can trap him behind some of these, like, for example, I trapped him inside of here. Um, but yeah, just try to trap him. Remember using Observation Aki to dodge his attacks uh, and not get hit. Now, for the second part, it's actually also really important to you. Look, for, from now to wave 25, there will be ranged enemies. But ranged enemies won't actually attack you until you get close, like this. So what you want to do is not get close. Let them get close to you. As you can see, they do a lot of damage. And use observation to then go in and kill them. Or if you have a big enough AoE or range, don't even get close to them. Just just range kill them. But observation haki really helps here. And if you have high haki, you can actually just use it every wave. But as you can see, the range spawns over here with all the melees. And just hit them from far away. Don't hit, go close to them. Because if you only have like, what, 20k HP or 40k, I don't know how much. You have l low HP. Then it's better to just not walk up at all and just use range to kill them. You can even use true Santorio. Or not true, um, just normal from first C. You could use some other fruits that have some range. As long as you have range and AoE, you'll be fine doing every raid. And Shanks Raid is actually really easy. It just takes a bit of time. And 
let's go kill here. As you can see, if you even with me, they do twenty eight thousand per hit. So you need to be careful with these guys. And uh, as soon as you're done with wave twenty five, as you, now you can see they spawn the two different areas, which is one is ranged, one is melee. I think this is the ranged one. No, this these are the melees. Like that. So now. A recommendation? Clear up your inventory so you can see what fruit you get. Or what you get. And here's the range. As you can see, they do a lot of damage, so you need to be careful with them. Now we kill them. And at wave 26, there's no longer any threat. There's no range. There's no really hard part if you're weak. Um. Remember, you still have free life, so if you die, it's fine. But these guys don't actually have anything. So you can pre basically kill them for free. They can be a little tanky if you're new or weak. But it shouldn't be that hard to do. Um, anyways, let's actually just kill all of these. And I'll show you how to kill shanks. I haven't done this in a while, by the way. So... I'm pretty sure Shanks has one big AoE ability with decent range, but yeah, it's all about where he spawns and if there's enemies around him. I can show you. Okay, final wave. Here we are, and Shanks spawns with the these guys. So I'll show you once again. Let's say that Shanks spawns alone. I'll just kill these guys with something else. This Shanks is alone, and now you can actually see Shanks attacks. Um, he's stuck right now because of the Conqueror's hockey. Uh, I'm pretty sure he has Conqueror's hockey himself. Something weird. Oh, yeah, there's one attack. I think that's a pretty me melee. I don't know what's going on with the screen right now. Okay, there's one ranged attack, and I think that's all he has. So, yeah, you can. Basically trap chunks too. It's pretty easy. Just go around like this, and now he's stuck. And I'm pretty sure he can't attack me. Yeah. And if you are unsure, you can actually just stand. Oh well, maybe not this close, so he can hit you with the AOE. But you can stand like here and hit him. And as you can see, it's pretty easy. Um, but that's how you do Shanks raid pretty easily. It's probably one of the easiest raids to do, since there's so many houses you can use to trap the boss and whatnot. And it really helps for those who are really weak. Uh, you still have to be careful, so you don't get hit. Because they do still do like a few thousand damage, and it will hurt if you are new to this game. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.